In this series, we will go over some of the more interesting problems that I've encountered in quant interviews. A fair six-sided die is rolled until all the numbers show up. The order in which the numbers appear does not matter. What is the expected number of die rolls? For the question we are looking at today, you have three minutes. You can pause the video and try to find the answer, and I'll see you back here. Let's remind ourselves of some definitions and formulae. A Bernoulli trial is a random experiment with exactly two possible outcomes, success and failure in which the probability of success is the same every time the experiment is conducted. The shifted geometric distribution is the probability distribution of the number x of Bernoulli trials needed to get one success, supported on the set 1, 2, 3, etc. The geometric distribution is denoted by g of p, where p greater than 0 is the success probability. The mean of the geometric distribution is 1 over p. Now, let's prove this. Probability of x equals k is 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times p for any k positive integer. This is due to the fact that we need exactly k minus 1 failures, which occur with probability 1 minus p, followed by 1 success, which occurs with probability p. Expectation of x equals sum of k times probability of x equals k over k between 1 and infinity, which is sum of k times 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 times p. Pulling p in front of the sum and writing k times 1 minus p to the power of k minus 1 as minus 1 minus p to the power of k d over dp, we get that expectation of x equals minus p times 1 over p d dp, which is 1 over p. Some examples in which we apply this property are the probability of getting a head is 1 over 2, so we expect to need 2 tosses to get a head. The probability of getting a 2 on a die is 1 over 6, so we expect to need 6 rolls to get a 2. The probability of getting a 13 on a roulette is 1 over 37, so we expect to make 37 spins to get a 13. Let's take a look at a few examples. Here are some sequences of rolls in which you have stopped after seeing all the values between 1 and 6 and their respective lengths. Let x be the expected number of rolls until you have seen all the values between 1 and 6. The time until the first result appears is 1, since any number we see first works. Then, the probability of seeing a different number is 5 over 6. The number of rolls until a new number appears follows a geometric distribution, so the expected number of rolls until a different value is seen is 6 over 5. This continues in the same manner, with the probability of seeing a different number now being 4 over 6, so our expected supplementary wait time being 6 over 4. For the last three different numbers, our expected wait times are 6 over 3, 6 over 2, and 6 over 1. By the linearity of expectation, we can sum all the values and arrive at the time needed to see all six numbers, 14.7. This type of problem belongs to a greater class of problems called the coupons collector problem. A variant of the general statement is the following. Given n coupons, how many do you expect you need to draw with replacement before having drawn each coupon at least once? Let t be the number of draws needed to collect all n coupons. 
using the same logic as before, expectation of t equals n times 1 over n plus 1 over n minus 1, and so on, plus 1 over 2 plus 1. For large enough values of n, this can be approximated as n times log n plus gamma, where gamma is the Euler-Mascheroni constant. If we ask ourselves how many croissants do you need to catch all of the original 151 Pokemons, the answer is that you would expect to need around 845. Let's see if we can get the same results by simulating the rolls. For 2, 6, and 151 values, we look at 1 million simulations and compute the minimum, maximum, and average length of tries needed. We can see that the expected value increases more than linearly with n, as we have seen before. What is also interesting is that while for 2 and 6, we had a perfect scenario of gathering our distinct values in the minimal number of tries, this did not happen for 151, even with the large number of simulations. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!